G'day guys, um, just got a few plumbers here. We just um, uh, did our assessment, just hearing a story about uh, Mitchell's exercising in the showers. Um, the reason why we're standing today uh, for this YouTube video is, um, well, you tell us, mate, why are we standing? Uh, yeah, Sam, just to give you some feedback that uh, you've uh, been to the. About your back. Oh, about my back. <laughs> <laughs> we've obviously uh, come to uh, this environment, it's been uh, nice and friendly and warm and welcoming, and I've uh, met some top blokes, um, all the common interest of uh, getting to Australia. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a good day. Um, so, what we'll do, guys, we'll just um, introduce yourselves, okay? So, just in far away, where you're from, mate, and um, we're about to know what you're going to go to. Uh, from Newcastle, and I'm looking at the Brisbane. Brisbane? And who's, uh, who's going with you? The way from two children. Yeah, why from two children? And um, why, why Brisbane, mate? Warmth. Warmth? Yeah. Okay. Have you guys been there before? Never even been to Australia. No, yeah, never been to Australia? No, no worries. And um, whose idea was it, mate? Was it yours? Was it um, your, your wife's? Whose idea? Uh, it was my wife's. Just messages one day and says, fancy moving in Australia. I'm so Exactly the change we need. So, really? Yeah. What? So it was a full on text message and you just come back? It was and just a. Uh, well, I was literally at work, I was at work you know, just obviously messaging at work and then I felt my phone going, it just said uh, fancy Australia. I just went, alright. Jeez, <laughs> my wife might message me and say fancy a pizza maybe, and I might say, yeah, but not to move halfway across the world. We well, talked about moving away, and just never really touched on where I wanted to go, and then we all said we'd never move to Australia, and then it was very random, I could just text to fancy Australia and both right, let's just do it. Nice, perfect, perfect. Alright, uh, and Freddie, yourself mate, what's, um, what about you head to mate? Uh, Brisbane as well. Brizzy, yeah. yeah. And, and who's going to was with you? Me and my girlfriend. And your girlfriend, what does she do for work? She's a mental health nurse. Yeah. Um, We've got a job lined up already? Yeah, she's got a job lined up already, so yeah. We'll get that so yeah. We've got her a job down in uh, Queensland. Yes. Um, and you're looking to head out uh, when, mate? As soon as possible, hopefully in June, but yeah. who knows? Perfect. And uh, Mitchell, what about yourself, mate? Where are you going to head to? Um, looking at WA, um, like yourself, so I've been in Brisbane, and probably my heart is in Brisbane, but something tells me that WA is for me. Yeah, um, awesome. WA is brilliant. Yeah. WA is good. Brisbane's, Brisbane's good. Yeah, I, yeah, very nice. I mean, if I couldn't, I'd definitely go to Brisbane with an opportunity. But yeah. And uh, how long have you been for, mate? Um, I don't know, approximately 13, 14 years. 13 years, like six and a half years. Six and a half years, 14, 15 years. 14, 15 years, that's a strong accent. Where are you from again? Newcastle. Newcastle. <laughs> what, do you, what do you call that? What were you saying to me before? Uh, what, Geordie's. Uh, Geordie's. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, cool. So, um, all right, so we've done the skills assessment. Before we move on, Freddie, what are you holding, mate? What's that thing? Do you know? No. So we set you up a little bit. Anyone know what that ball is? I don't want to jump in. Go wrong. That. Uh, pass it to you, mate. This is the good old Aussie rules football. So we don't throw it, we hand pass it, we kick it, we catch it, we follow them. When you get there, we're going to follow Collingwood Football Club, all right? The mighty pies. All right, no worries. Okay, guys, uh, let's talk about it. So here today, you've done the skills assessment, we've got a table full of belongings, we're standing up because our backs are sore, um, you know, changed the, change the round a little bit. We've been learning about the, um, after the assessment, we've learned a bit about the visas. We've also learned um, lots about the gap training, what we need to do, how we need to do it. Um, and we pretty much can agree it's an absolute nightmare and it's difficult. Um, and even after today, there's still going to be lots of questions about the gap training because it really depends on whereabouts in Australia you're going to move to, correct? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. So, um, let's talk about the skills assessment. So, who wants to talk about the skills assessment so far? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk about it. Um, yep. So, first thing that you did, Freddie, what did you do first, mate? The uh, goal and get information together yep. uh, regarding work, uh, how long I've worked, where I've worked, just the type of work I've been doing. Yep. Stuff like that. Okay. And how many years of evidence did you gather, mate? Do you remember? Uh, it's three years of evidence after you've been fully qualified. Yeah. So how long? How was your apprenticeship for? Uh, it was like two years, two and a half. Two years. Two, three years, I think it was all together. Perfect. So, so you've got six years. So you got. Um, so the minimum requirement is an MBQ level three or four years. Okay. Mm -hmm. We gathered three years after your MBQ level three, getting yeah. five extra points for the visa. Um, so you gathered six years in total. Um, you guys gathered eight years. 
I believe. So it's probably the, well, I always think it's the hardest part and takes the longest part, but that's my opinion. After that, you then do the technical interview, and then you've come in and you've done the, uh, the practical assessment today. But in your thing, what, what, what do you believe to be the hardest part of the skills assessment process for a plumber? I think gathering the evidence, uh, as a plumber, is hard because you're relying on a lot of people. Um, you're relying on the plan getting back to you, all that. Whereas in the technical interview, you get asking questions about something you already know. Yeah. And then the practical, you're doing something you're doing day in and day out. So the, those two parts are pretty easy. Yeah. It's gathering the evidence that takes the time off most of it. Yeah, perfect. Yourself, Frank, what are you doing? Yeah, I completely agree. Um, I mean, yeah, getting your boss to write up all these uh, statements of services and third party reports, it takes ages for them to do it. Yeah. They've, just got no, uh, they've got no motivation to help you sometimes. Yeah, they don't want to keep you down there. Yeah. They give you. And yourself, Mike, what, what do you reckon is the hardest part? Uh, probably the hardest part, yeah. For yourself, gathering, gathering information, trying to do a day's work and trying to get it. Obviously, yeah. trying to phone HM revenues and stuff like that. But obviously, if you've got a decent partner. Yeah, takes a lot of burden off you. Well, you should watch your mate. You've all got decent partners because um, you know they obviously gathered it quite quickly. Um, uh, but obviously, you know, credit to you guys. You've come in today. You've done the practical assessment. Um, you know, just what was involved in the practical assessment, mate? You want to explain that? Um, yeah. So um, obviously, uh, there's a specification, and, um, and we're told like names, names, and dimensions of what's expected. And, we uh, follow the follow the you know, the uh, specification and construct the, um, the pipe work to suit. Yeah. Cool. Bit drainage, but it's um, if you're a plumber, easy or hard? Easy. Yeah, it's basic. Yeah. yeah. So you're being assessed on things that you would do on a regular basis, and I think if you weren't a plumber, it wouldn't be easy, would it? Don't show. Sure. No. Yeah. We just show them the way you handle the tools. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to, we're going to test you against um, UK regulations, Australian regulations, wherever you're from. Uh, it's just proved you've got the necessary skills. So documentary assessment is a pre-reporting on paper, a technical interview, chat with an Australian qualified plumber, trainer, assessor, um, and then obviously the last bit uh, covers myself, a qualified plumber and trainer, assessor for a practical assessment.